What is up and welcome back to some more Grounded in this one here today, a guide on how to find a lot of clay. I showed you guys how to get a lot of pebbles, now I'm going to show you guys how to get a lot of clay. I'm going to take a nap, I'm going to sleep till the morning time so we have the utmost daylight to work with here. And I'm going to show you guys how to get a bunch of clay. If this helps you, let me know down in the comments. Leave me a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure we eat in the morning time, you know breakfast is important, breakfast is important. First landmark we are headed to here is going to be the island. The island with Rash the Battletoad on it. The reason we are around the island is because of this. Right there. This red goodness that is clay. So, in the water, all around the water, you will find clay. Shocker. As long as you are around the island area, you will find a lot of clay underwater. So, do yourself a favor and go take a look-see while I take a look-see. Only thing you've got to worry about underwater is these water fleas in your breath. Drowning and being eaten alive seems like the worst things to happen. Some clay on the island as well. I built clay paths because of how much clay is in this area. All the clay please. Thank you. Ow, he bit me. I'm drowning. As you can see, I've got almost 100 clay from just being underwater around this island. Almost at 100 now, there's two more nodes in front of me. Get off me, nerd. If you're out of the water and you have the rock cracker mutation on, you can one hit the clay. Under water, it's still two hit. You can see I'm almost at 200 clay from this island spot. We've been farming for about six minutes. Both pebbles and clay are really good things to use for building. That's why I figured I would make a guide on how to find a lot of them and how I find a lot of them because I've been building like a madman lately. So I figured if I can share some wisdom, let people know how I find as much as I do, maybe other people would start building as much as I do. I guess we'll see what happens. Again, if this helps you, let me know down in the comments. So let's just be real here. There's probably a lot more clay than 243 in this whole island area here. But we got 243 from this. We're gonna go and I'm gonna show you two more spots that are really good for clay. But yes, just like the pebble video. Three spots. I utilize three spots for each for farming and that gives me all the clay and pebbles that I need. Hello, more mites. And if you need more mites, there's also more mites here. So I'm gonna actually leave my clay here. So I'll just put 243. That chest is getting pretty full. I'm gonna go to the second spot that I like to utilize for clay and that is back to the picnic table and the sandbox. Underneath the picnic table is also another good spot for pebbles as well. So you can use a bunch of spots over here for pebbles and clay. Bonus gum over here if you want it as well. Oh my god, hi B. How you doing? Come underneath the picnic table here. Jump down here to the bottom. All on the ground. There's a bunch more clay. Let's see how much we get from this area. Again, as you can see, there's also pebbles down here like I was saying. This spot doesn't actually have too many, too much clay. Could definitely use some more, but hey, you get free gum. A small amount of pebbles and clay under here, but the third and final spot we're gonna be using for our clay, I will show you now. We're gonna have to go back to the tower. Third and final spot we will be going for clay is going to be the upper yard so it might be a little bit more treacherous to get there but if you can get up there once make sure you set up a zip line and uh, be able to get up there pretty easily the spot up here has probably the most clay out of both of the spots we've been to so far the island probably has the second most the picnic table probably has 
the least. So always if you need clay, hit the island and then the picnic table. And then if you still need more, then you can take the trip up here to the upper yard. Every time I come up here and there's a moth up here, I always like to take her out, especially because I don't got the gold card yet. You can buy gold card this time. You can uh, the moth just decided to crash my game. That's right. Gold card? Oh my goodness. Seven moth buzz and two moth scales, but no gold card. Anyways, back to clay. So once you're up here in the upper yard, this is the spot you're going to be looking for over in here. Giant tree stump. Now there's a lot of clay around all this thing, so just look around very, very carefully and you'll find a bunch. Especially if you go underwater. Normally a water flea that does come after you if you're in here. I don't know where he is though. Over here, he gets stuck sometimes. Goodbye. Pow. So as you can see, just from this front little puddle here, we got 198, which is already just about as much as we got from the island. Now this isn't even all the clay that's up here. If you come to the right side of the tree, over here, in this little puddle, there is more. Once you've collected all this clay here, in this little puddle, about like 270-ish, you know, give or take, however many spawn for you in your game. You can run all the way back around here towards the wasps. You know you're in the right spot when you find the wasps. Go in the water. And there's more. Another good way to know where you are is you're by the giant ladder in the back upper yard here, against the back brick wall underneath the tree, the upper yard. A lot more clay down here. Don't drown! Oh my goodness, I almost drowned. Lose your breath when you're up here getting all this clay. Ugh. 431. There is a couple more spots around the tree. I'm going to show you them now. Little bottom spot in this little pond with these mushrooms all around it. You can go into water and you'll find yourself some more clay. Oh, you're stuck too, aren't you, bud? Oh my goodness. Me alone. Gold card? Oh my god. No gold card? Now I'm upset. Perish. Anyways, I think that is about it for all of the clay spots that I can really think of. There's a little bit more all around the tree up here, but um, yeah. You can pretty much end up with 490. I'm gonna get rid of this beak and maybe be able to take some more here home. Probably gonna be able to walk with about 500. 499. Are you kidding me? Aha, uh -huh. see, there's a couple more over here. They never let me down. Five twenty seven and we got about three hundred from the lower yard, so that's about eight hundred clay in about give or take like 15, 20 minutes. If you found this useful and you learned a couple extra clay spots today. Make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know if you didn't know about them. Let me know if you knew about them. Let me know if it helped you. Let me know if it didn't help. Whatever. Chat down in the comment section. Leave me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Bell to get notified anytime anything epic happens. I'm epic. Y'all are epic. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.